What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good evening. Happy Saturday night, February 12th. Listen, big UFC pay-per-view tonight. Who's watching? Who do you got? I want to know. I'm getting ready for it. It's about an hour and a half away to the pay-per-view kicks off. Prelims are going. That's going to be my Saturday night. And then tomorrow, what you know, what do we have? We got Super Bowl. Supposedly tomorrow's Super Bowl is going to be filled with cryptocurrency ads. I can't wait to see. You know the top exchanges, FX exchange, you know Coinbase. I wouldn't be surprised if Binance or Binance US was involved. I'm sure we're going to get an iTrust Capital thrown in there as well. I just want to see what they got. I think this is going to be a massive, massive year for cryptocurrency commercials in the Super Bowl. And you know the Super Bowl reaches millions beyond millions of people, folks. This is where we can really get to get to talk going start getting the word out there cryptocurrency get the bitcoin ethereum let's get a little xrp let these people start gaining interest into what a cryptocurrency is because you know what until these regs come until we get wall street in here we're not going to be going up to that 10 trillion dollar market cap like you want to see regs will come and then that's where we're going to go mark my words i've said this before listen the everyday person the means to use your mom your dad we can only take this thing so far we need wall street we need institutional money which means we need regulations especially here in the united states we need regs anyways enough about my rant there let's move over to live coin watch what are we seeing out there i'll tell you what we're seeing we're seeing an xrp that did a little hello it woke up it's up six percent folks up to 83 cents you love to see xrp moving in the rest of the market not doing anything now tomorrow get this i know that one of the prop bets on the super bowl is actually will bitcoin be green will it go up in value during the super bowl that is an actual bet that you can make you know in vegas and these online sporting apps i find that to be very interesting my favorite bet out of all of them is the coin flip i always like to bet the coin flip if you get the coin flip right heads or tails listen you're never going to get a 50 50 odds that's the only true bet where it's 50 50 that you're going to win i usually do that bet that's how i know if i'm going to have a great super bowl if you win the coin flip it usually means you're in a good you're in some good signs anyway listen market cap 1.9 trillion dollars bitcoin dominance 41.64 percent bitcoin's coming out forty two thousand four hundred eighty six dollars what we're going to talk about in this video, we're going to talk about the lawsuit and what's going on. Because I don't know about you, but according to what I'm reading, what I'm seeing, my perspectives, this lawsuit's over, folks. The SEC is trying to delay again. Yeah, they get, they, they get, listen, the judge is granted the delays, but the delays are coming down less and less. Now it's just a couple of weeks before we were getting like month delays. Now we're down to a couple of weeks. This is all going to come to an end. I firmly, firmly do believe that both sides are talking behind the scenes and they are talking about what's going on and how they can both get out of this without really being unscathed or hurt because the sec remember what their pride is they've never lost a lawsuit the sec prides themselves on never losing a lawsuit that they have brought up against a company or person or peoples when they said went after them saying that they're selling unregistered securities so if the sec loses this thing you know once you get that that first loss under your belt you know what usually happens next the second loss comes the third loss comes. it's kind of like a trickle down effect folks because people start to realize that you are human that you can be defeated and they're not going to be afraid of you and they're going to come back at you that's how the world works. I mean, you can look at any sporting event. You can look at any major fighter, boxer, UFC superstar out there. Once they got their first loss and they lost their title and people realized that they were human, they just start to get beat down after that because people weren't afraid. Well, people start waking up and realizing that the SEC could be defeated. They're going to wake up as well. Now, when we look at this Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit, why doesn't the SEC want this thing to go to trial? I'll tell you why. Because if this thing goes to trial, they're not going to win. The evidence that is out there is so damning and so against them that I don't know what jury would sit there and absolutely believe that the SEC is on the right side of law. They wouldn't. So this thing is going to wrap up before you know it. Now let's get going. Listen, head over to XRPL Zombie right now. 
give him a follow. He's putting out the best XRP Ledger NFTs. The artwork is phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. Listen, I'm telling you now, get in early on these. Get in early. One NFT will always equal one X zombie. Buy your tokens now, right from the solo decks, folks. Head over to solo, connect your zomb, get involved. It's 155 XRP. That's it. 155 XRP for one X zombie token. Do you know how much that is? It's about 124 bucks. That NFT, I'm telling you right now, if I had to make a prediction, this thing is going to be worth when they when they go live on the XRP ledger, your little $124 XRP is going to be worth thousands. You already see things selling for like 6,000 XRP out there that are crap. This is a real project. I back this project. There are a couple of other big XRP names out there that back this project. Look at this. Look at the little gift. Little zombie just jamming out. I'm telling you folks, I, I called X stick at a penny and it will 10 X. I'm telling you right now, this thing already, you can see the chart. And when I start talking about it, it's about 30 XRP is up to 155. It's going to keep going. These things are going to get up to five, six thousand XRP per NFT. Mark my words. Head over to solo. Get yours now. Lock them in. Then real XRP boy puts this out. It says, is this true? SEC government Gary Gisler has to pierce. Listen to this. Listen to the corruption going on. This whole story unfolds over the course of three months in 2016, from April to June. The Dow was an Ethereum-based venture capital fund that aimed to use code to create an investment firm without a conventional management structure or board of directors, a scheme that's positioned as lightweight and reducing bureaucratic overhead, but really it just translated to an attempt at minimizing human liability for the actions and behaviors of the fund. This unparalleled expression of greed made the major speculative players in Ethereum so horny that during the April and May presale, they funneled 14% of the entire volume of Ether into the Dow's central wallet. Now, because the Dow's underlying code was open source, experts and malicious actors alike were able to pour over it for vulnerabilities, and indeed, vulnerabilities were found. However, because at the end of the day, fleshy humans are the ones actually pushing buttons and making decisions, the actual leadership of the nominally leaderless DAO, horny for money and prestige, decided to launch in late May anyway. Three weeks later, the DAO's programming was exploited and the attacker was able to transfer one third of the DAO's funds into a holding wallet, about 5% of the entire Ethereum economy, valued at the time around 16 to 17 million dollars. Now, because this threatened the bottom line of capital holders, the Ethereum project as a whole, the entire thing, was almost immediately forked in order to undo the hack and protect the interests of the wealthy. Ethereum Classic, the arm of the fork that didn't undo the attack, persists to this day, though it's notably less popular despite being demonstrably more principled. Because all the talk about decentralization is a myth. It's just words. At the end of the day, the guys in charge, the guys who built the system to serve their interests, are still in charge and keep a kill switch in their They keep a kill switch in their pocket, folks. Listen to this crap. Crypto Eerie does this three former SEC's officials had a direct hand in the crypto enforcement actions that moved the markets. Former Chairman Jay Clayton, former Director of Corporate Finance William Hinman, and former Director of Enforcement Mark Berger. Interesting, right? Let's skip over this for the time being because I want to move to this from T.O. Benny. He says, who believes he happened to stumble across what's possibly the most critical evidence to Ripple's defense as he was clearing out a desk soon after the second set of documents excluded from the original log were revealed. The Hinman speech email. Who believes that? Who believes that? We never would have got this information. Am I right or am I right? But this is interesting, right? Because once again, the SEC seems to have, be, seems to have missed information. What am I talking about? I'm telling you right now. Who remembers the Empower stuff I covered the other day? When Empower was going after the SEC to get them the emails, they wanted to know every email that was sent to the certain domain names. And the SEC said, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. We, we did a look. We did a lookup. We did a search through our mail servers. We just didn't find anything. Empower, Empower knew it was BS. They said, BS, get back there, research. Guess what? Guess what the SEC found? Over a thousand different documents now. All of a sudden, they were able to find a thousand different documents. So, what are we hearing now? We're hearing SEC wants a delay, right? Yeah, they got it granted. Big deal. A week, couple of days. Nothing big here, right? They get the delay. They don't want to turn over the notes. 
from Brad Gollinghouse and Commissioner Elad Roseman. They needed to delay. Why they got to delay? Because they probably need to cover up a little couple of things, right? Why are these notes so important, folks? Do you remember? It's Brad's Gollinghouse's conversation with Elad Roseman. Roseman said, he apologized to Brad. I'm so sorry you had to come in, Brad. There's a lot of confusion out there. It's not, it's not healthy what's going on. But don't you worry. Roseman telling you he knows XRP is in security. But guess what? They're finding paperwork, right? Trying to delay. Why do you got to delay? Ask yourself this. Why does Roseman not work for the SEC anymore? Why? Maybe because he stepped over his territory and made a statement to Ripple and to Brad that he's apologizing to them because they shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be in the situation that they're in. He knew that. But the biggest corruptive lawsuit, law case in history dropped on by Clayton and him before they stepped out the door to go work for two, two law firms or two companies that are solely based and based their business around the Bitcoin cryptocurrency and the Ethereum cryptocurrency. But you see no conflicts of interest here. As I stated in, this, in the beginning of this video, and on my rant, the SEC can't afford to take an L. If they take a loss in this lawsuit, everyone else that they go after, they're gonna get they're gonna get put to the fight of their lives like they are with Ripple. They can't take the loss, folks. They're gonna figure out a way to get out of this unscathed so they don't have to put a loss under the belt. They could put it like a draw, like it was even, right? Both both SEC and Ripple get out this thing clean. No one's hurt, no one's injured, so they get the draw. But if they get a loss, you know what that means? That means going forward, when the SEC goes after these cryptocurrency companies, these cryptocurrency companies aren't just going to pay right out and listen and obey to what the SEC said, just like Kim did. Kim was like, guys, guys, listen, what? What do you want, SEC? You want millions of dollars? Sure. Give me your wallet. I'll send you millions of dollars. That's what the SEC is used to. People bowing down and obeying to what they say. Well, the SEC is being put through a battle right now. And what do we see being discovered as these days, months go by? We're seeing more damning evidence going against the SEC, exposing their corruption. And we see them hiding and trying to cover up all this information. But guess what? I told you this before and I'm going to tell you this a hundred times over and over again. If the XRP community is digging up documents like we have dug up, what do you think the top lawyers in the world for Ripple is digging up? Ripple got Mary Jo White, who used to work for the SEC. What information do you think Mary Jo knows that she's giving out? Would you be shocked to see Elad Roseman kind of join forces with Ripple here and go back against after the SEC? I wouldn't. Folks, this suit's coming to an end. The time for XRP is to be bought now, not when the lawsuit ends, because then it's going to be... The price is going to go through the roof. It's not financial advice. That's just me telling you the dead honest thing here. The dead honest, my dead honest opinion on what's going to happen. Listen, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go crack a soda. You know what? Go check out X zombies. You're not going to be disappointed. Look at the zombie. Look at him go. Yeah. Wash them hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.